Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What are some occasions that require you to measure the pressure of a gas in chemistry? All right, so there's definitely a few different occasions that uh, would make us measure the pressure. So let's go over. First of all, a huge one is PV, equal, PV equals nRT, which is the ideal gas law. So, let's say that we had some gas in a container and we knew the volume of the container and we knew the temperature of the container and R we always know because R is a gas constant. And let's say we wanted to figure out how many moles we had. Well, to do this, we're going to have to get this last variable and this is the pressure. So this would be an occasion where we would have to measure the pressure, which is going to be constant in this case, to get the number of moles that we have. So scenario number one. Let's look at another scenario. Well, let's say that we wanted to find the complete work done. Well, work is equal to P times change in volume. And so let's say that we knew that we had some kind of syringe and we had condensed that from 40 mils down to 20 mils. Well, our V was, is going to be final minus initial, so 20 minus 40. Remember, this is actually negative. And so our V is going to be negative 20. We could plug that into here. And to find out the work, we'd still need to measure the pressure and figure out uh, what that was. So we need both of these variables before we can figure out the total amount of work done. There's lots of other occasions when measuring the air pressure is going to be useful or just the pressure of a gas in general, but these are two quick and very common types. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What are some occasions that you'd be required to measure the pressure of a gas in chemistry?